What's going on everybody? I am Dom Strider, back on another adventure to find that which time forgot. And uh, today I got more of a laid back kind of adventure. Still hopefully it'll be exciting. Uh, I'm going over to Indian Lake and what's over there are uh, ruins of an old homestead and I believe even a chapel hidden somewhere in the woods. I'm not going to go too much into detail about it now as I'm actually going to try to save a lot more of the information for uh, the actual park. There's not a whole lot of information on either of these places that I'm aware of. Um, that said, you know, still want to kind of save it for the actual adventure. That said, guys, before we start the video, hit the like button. It really does help the video out. It helps the video do better. And if you're new and you want to see more content from me, hit subscribe. I try to post videos every Friday at about 5 o'clock Central Time. But without further ado, guys, I hope you enjoy this adventure, and I'll see you there. Okay guys, so I just got here at Indian Lake. We're gonna go for the chapel because right here I actually have a sign. Uh, there's actually a sign uh, talking about said chapel. It's called St. Mary of the Oaks. It says that it was built in 1857 by John Endres in fulfillment of a religious vow he made in return for protecting the lives of his family during an epidemic, so. It says, uh, so basically it says that he built the chapel as a religious fulfillment for uh, protection for his family during an epidemic. I'm guessing that must have been a deal between him and God or something, or him and, uh, him, and a, uh, him and the church or something. It, it was obviously some kind of, you know, commitment, obviously. So yeah, it's basically talking about the chapel. It's been here for, since 1857, and uh, I guess it's on up atop a hill. So... I think what we're going to do is we're going to start looking for that first. So, let's get moving. Well guys, it looks like there's some built-in stairs from the park. I bet you that's probably the way to go, uh, more than anything. Yeah, because remember this because I remember what the sign said. It said that atop a hill overlooking Indian Lake was the chapel. Well, there's stairs leading right up the damn hill, and I'm guessing that that sign. Usually, how they do these historical markers is it's not too far off. Uh, like they don't want to put it, uh, make it so it's like, oh yeah, here's the sign. You gotta go find it. Like, that would just kind of be douchey. But, I mean, this is like, honestly the biggest, one of the more bigger hills of the area. And I, and the sign's right there, so I'm guessing what we're looking for is up there. So, I'll catch you guys then. Well, guys, here's the chapel. The chapel of St. Mary of the Oaks. <sighs> That's a pretty, that is a fantastic looking building. <sighs> Dang. I was just actually reading uh, on the little signs over there that I guess the, um, it's significant that, the, uh, that uh, the architecture of this re uh, uh, reflected uh, that of Germanic base, because um, when Wisconsin was settled here, a lot of the immigrants were German, 
um, and a lot of them were masons, so, you know, a lot of them, they, they built their houses a lot this way, and masonry was their trade, so, or at least a good chunk of their trade, I'm not saying that was the only thing that they did, but, yeah, dang, <sighs> I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's open, I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go check really quick, because sites say that it's open, but, um, just want to make sure. Okay, guys. It's not a very big place in here, but whatever is here is honestly beautiful. I'm guessing that's Mary. Honestly, this is all Mary. This is literally a chapel to Mary. Oh, sorry for the autofocus. Huh. Look, there she is. There's Mary, mother of Jesus. Even just look at these like let me focus yeah there we go even just look at these like uh these these drapes those doilies dang <laughs> what do we got over here this reads get in get in tafel Fure di Deris Capella in Marksville. So something for the for the Endress Chapel in Marksville. Jesus, Maria, Joseph, obviously you know, Jesus and his mother and father. This is written in German. Look at this. Aus I also, ein Wander, ein Wanderung der Ehel, Eheloid, Marx, Endres. It's been a long time. I used to be able to speak German pretty good, but I don't know what it says anymore. Something, uh, let's, uh, con uh, contact, let's contact with uh, German Verwandtschaft durch Margetta Reis nach 16 Jahren ohne Verbindung. Yeah, it's been a long time since I'm probably butchering a lot of it. Something Germany. Familia. Million Treffen. I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's been a long time since I took German. But yeah, look at this. Huh. I wonder what's in the door. <coughs> oh. Hello. Please do not bring water into chapel until spring. It freezes. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Yeah, guys. Um, I think that's going to be all in this chapel. Like I said, this is literally all that's in here. Um, it's a very cool chapel. Excuse me. It's a very cool chapel. I'll give it that. But yeah. Um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to see out of the chapel. Uh, now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making my way over to the Mott's Farmstead Ruins. Because um, I do want to see those too. This was only one of the things I wanted to see. So yeah, I'll fill you guys in about that once we get there. Okay, that, that is literally the cutest and creepiest thing at the same time that I've ever seen. <laughs> 
It's a snowman just chilling on the park bench. <laughs> well, uh, see ya, Olaf Frosty. Uh, I've got some uh, farmstead ruins to find, but I will catch you later, man, okay? Holy crap, guys, there they are. For some reason it's being extremely dark right now, I don't know why, but there's the ruins. That's the ruins of the homestead I've been looking for. So as I said before, that's called the Mott's Farmstead Ruins. It's called that because in around 1852 is when Friedrich Maas, Mott's, a German immigrant, first settled there and, you know, pretty much ran a farm there. He raised cows. He raised other kinds of livestock that I can't remember off the top of my head. He, um, he grew corn, he grew potatoes, you know, he grew, he grew a lot of stuff. So he was, he was a good farmer. And uh, yeah, I guess um, the original house, the original house that he built back in, you know, 1865 is no longer really standing. I think those ones ruins might actually be the house. Um, and I guess what happened was in 1949, it just burned, there was a fire. Don't know what caused the fire again. In fact, a lot of times I don't know what caused the fire. Yeah, it's a little bit of the history on them. So I will see you guys once we get like a little bit of a closer look, all right? There it is, guys. That's the Mott's house. Uh, or it was the Mott's house. Keep in mind, again, this was this was at one point the site of a fire. Unfortunately, it burned down, I guess. Uh, sources say uh, 1949. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's some beautiful stonework there. I mean, keep in mind, uh, Mott's was a German immigrant, so much like, much like the chapel that we kind of saw earlier, this is just another example of uh, Germanic masonry at work and Germanic, you know, construction or whatever, for lack of a better term. I mean, yeah, there was a fire, but I mean, the fact that this, that those walls are still standing, I mean, that's, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. Uh, I gotta watch my footing, because this is a really steep hill. Hey, what do we got over here? Another part. Another piece of the house, probably. Not sure what. Actually, wait a minute. If that's the house. No. I was gonna say maybe entrance to the cellar, but like, no, that wouldn't have been built too far up above ground. No, I don't know. That's not all there's, there is to the Mott's spot. There's also a barn right over there, so uh, let's go take a look at the barn. Well, here looks to be the barn. That door has definitely seen better days. That's weird, what, did they like repaint it like sometime in? Because that's obviously faded off, but that coat of paint looks kind of new, all things considered. That clearly wasn't, I don't think that coat of paint was there in 1865, or whenever this was built. 1852. Yeah. Dang. Look, we got some windows. Let's see if we can peer into the windows a little bit, maybe see what's going on inside. Whoa. All there is in there. Ugh, looks like a toilet of some kind. Chicken wire. That was definitely a hen house over there. 
Yeah, this was definitely the barn. And it's all left. But anyway, that's going to be it for the video today, guys. Uh, if you liked it, please hit that like button. Uh, it really does help the video out a ton. And if you're new, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification to let you know when I come out with a new video. I do want to grow the channel quite a bit because this is what I want to do for quite a long time. So if you guys can help me out with that, that would be greatly appreciated. And if anybody has any information leading to any more places like this that I can go check out and explore, Either leave me a comment or send me a message on the Facebook page. Uh, the link for that will be down in the description below. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Dom Strider, and I will see you guys again the next time I go on an adventure to find that which time forgot about.